in the heart of the sinister woods, where the moonlight struggled to pierce the thick canopy of ancient trees. A group of unsuspecting friends had gathered for an evening picnic. The air was heavy with an ominous stillness as they spread their blankets on the damp forest floor, unaware of the malevolent eyes that watched their every move. As they laughed and indulged in the warmth of the flickering campfire, a chilling breeze whispered through the leaves, sending shivers down their spines. Little did they know that their carefree escapade had drawn the attention of a group of vampires who lurked in the shadows, craving the taste of human blood. As the night deepened, the once jovial atmosphere turned uneasy. Strange sounds echoed through the trees, like the mournful howls of unseen creatures. The friends exchanged nervous glances, but dismissed their fears as mere products of their imagination. Little did they realize that their fate had already been sealed. Suddenly, the moon emerged from behind the clouds, casting an eerie glow on the forest. The friends became acutely aware of the unsettling silence that enveloped them. The crackling of the campfire seemed to be the only sound in the desolate woods. Out of the darkness, a figure emerged, tall, pale, and hauntingly beautiful. The friends, frozen in fear, watched as the mysterious stranger approached with a predatory grace. It was Alaric, the leader of the vampire coven, his eyes gleaming with a hunger that sent a chill down their spines. With a wicked smile, Alaric revealed his razor-sharp fangs, and the friends realized the true horror that awaited them. Before they could react, the other vampires emerged from the shadows, their eyes ablaze with a bloodlust that could not be quenched. The forest echoed with screams as the vampires descended upon their prey, sinking their fangs into the terrified victims. The air was tainted with the metallic scent of blood, and the once serene picnic site transformed into a gruesome battleground. In the chaos, one of the friends managed to break free from the clutches of the vampires and sprinted into the darkness. The pursuit was relentless, but the survivors' desperation fueled their flight through the twisted maze of trees. The forest seemed to close in around them, as if the very trees conspired to keep the lone survivor within the clutches of the vampiric horde. Just as hope began to flicker like the dying embers of the campfire, the survivor stumbled upon an ancient, dilapidated mansion hidden deep within the forest. Desperation guided their trembling hands as they pounded on the decaying door, pleading for sanctuary. The door creaked open, revealing a mysterious figure cloaked in shadows. As the survivor begged for refuge, the figure merely nodded, inviting them inside. The mansion, though eerily quiet, provided a temporary sanctuary from the bloodthirsty vampires outside. Within the dimly lit halls, the survivor discovered the mansion's secret, a society of vampires who resisted their primal urges and sought to live in harmony with the human world. The survivor was taken under the wing of the enigmatic vampire leader, Serafina, who explained that Alaric's coven was an abomination, a rogue faction that had long been shunned by the vampire community. Serafina, driven by a sense of justice, vowed to confront Alaric and his vile coven, to put an end to the reign of terror they had unleashed upon the forest. The survivor, Torn between fear and a newfound sense of purpose, agreed to join Serafina's quest. As they prepared for the impending confrontation, the survivor couldn't shake the feeling that the forest held secrets far darker than the vampires themselves. The twisted tree seemed to whisper ancient tales of betrayal and revenge, leaving the survivor to wonder if the true horror lay not only in the bloodthirsty vampires, but in the haunted depths of the woods that concealed their malevolent existence. As the mansion's inhabitants armed themselves for the final showdown, the survivor and Serafina ventured back into the heart of the forest, ready to face Alaric and his coven in a battle that would decide the fate of both the vampire society and the unsuspecting world beyond the trees. 
Little did they know that the true horrors of the forest were yet to be unveiled, and the mysterious past that bound the vampires to the shadows would unravel, in ways that would shake the foundations of their very existence. The chilling journey into the heart of darkness had only just begun. The forest seemed to pulsate with an ancient energy, as Serafina and the survivor delved deeper into its depths. The air became thicker, and the oppressive darkness clung to their every step. Serafina, with a stoic determination, guided the survivor through hidden paths and forgotten clearings, revealing a landscape tainted with the history of long-forgotten secrets. As they ventured further, the survivor couldn't shake the sensation of being watched. Shadows danced on the periphery of their vision, and eerie whispers echoed through the trees carrying the weight of centuries-old secrets. It became clear that the forest itself held a malevolent consciousness, one that had witnessed the rise and fall of civilizations, leaving behind a legacy of darkness. The journey led them to an ancient altar hidden in the heart of the forest, adorned with cryptic symbols that seemed to hum with an otherworldly power. Serafina, her eyes narrowed in contemplation revealed that the altar held the key to unlocking the true origins of vampiric existence and the curse that bound them to the shadows. Just as they began to unravel the mysteries concealed within the ancient markings, a blood-curdling howl echoed through the forest, signaling the imminent arrival of Alaric and his coven. The survivor felt a surge of adrenaline, knowing that the final confrontation was at hand. Yet, the forest seemed to protest their intrusion, its malevolence intensifying as if warning them of a force far more sinister than the vampires themselves. The survivor and Serafina pressed on, their determination unwavering. They discovered an abandoned crypt hidden beneath the twisted roots of an ancient tree, a place that held the darkest secrets of the vampire society. As they descended into the crypt's depths, a foreboding presence enveloped them, and the air grew heavy with the stench of ancient despair. The crypt revealed a tapestry of betrayal and revenge, a tale of vampires torn between their insatiable thirst for blood and a longing for redemption. It became apparent that the forest, with its hidden altars and cryptic symbols, held the key to breaking the curse that bound vampires to a life of eternal darkness. However, before the survivor and Serafina could delve further into the crypt's secrets, the entrance collapsed, sealing them inside. The chilling laughter of Alaric echoed through the darkness, as he revealed that the forest itself had chosen them as pawns, in a game that transcended the mortal and immortal realms, trapped within the crypt. The survivor and Serafina faced not only the impending threat of Alaric and his coven, but also the enigmatic force that governed the malevolent heart of the forest, as they sought a way to escape their subterranean prison. The crypt unveiled a series of passages leading to forgotten chambers, each holding fragments of a truth that could either shatter the vampire's existence, or grant them salvation. With time ticking away and the ominous presence of Alaric drawing near, the survivor and Serafina faced a choice to unravel the mysteries hidden within the crypt and confront the ancient force governing the forest, or succumb to the relentless pursuit of the vampiric horde and the darkness that clung to the heart of the woods. The true nature of the forest and the origins of vampiric existence remained elusive teasing the survivor and Serafina with glimpses of a malevolent past that refused to be forgotten, as the crypt shadows whispered secrets of redemption and damnation. The survivor prepared to confront not only the vampires but the enigmatic force that had bound them, to a fate intertwined with the haunted depths of the ancient woods. The stage was set for a final cataclysmic showdown that would reveal the true horrors lurking within the heart of the forest, in the suffocating darkness of the crypt, where the weight of untold secrets pressed upon them. Serafina and the survivor discovered an ancient ritual that could break the curse plaguing the vampire society, 
guided by the cryptic symbols and the fragments of a truth long buried. They pieced together the ritual that held the power to free vampires from the chains of eternal darkness. As they chanted the incantations, the crypt trembled, and a blinding light erupted, dispelling the shadows that clung to every corner. The oppressive force that had governed the forest recoiled, as if weakened by the revelation of the long-buried truth. That altar, now illuminated by an ethereal glow, resonated with a power that transcended the malevolence that had shrouded the woods for centuries. Meanwhile, Alaric and his coven closed in on the crypt, driven by a bloodlust that had blinded them to their unfolding events. The survivor and Seraphina emerged from the crypt just as the vampires descended upon them, their fangs bared in anticipation of the feast. To the vampires' astonishment, the air around the survivor and Seraphina shimmered with an ancient magic. The curse had been lifted, and the once immortal beings found themselves transformed. No longer bound by an insatiable thirst for blood, they felt the warmth of the moonlight on their skin and the beating of hearts that had long been silent. The transformed vampires, now freed from the shackles of their dark past, faced Alaric and his coven with newfound strength. The forest, sensing the shift in the balance of power, seemed to sigh with relief as the malevolent force that had governed its heart weakened. A battle of a different kind ensued, one that pitted the reformed vampires against the remnants of Alaric's coven. The once vile creatures, now endowed with the capacity for empathy and remorse, struggled against the darkness that still lingered within their former comrades. In the midst of the chaos, the survivor and Seraphina confronted Alaric in a climactic showdown. The transformed leader, once driven by bloodlust, now grappled with the consequences of his past actions. The survivor, fueled by a desire for justice and redemption, pleaded with Alaric to embrace the newfound humanity that had been bestowed upon them. In a moment of profound realization, Alaric relinquished his thirst for darkness choosing instead to join the ranks of the reformed vampires. The remaining members of his coven, touched by the transformative power of the ancient ritual, followed suit, leaving behind the shadows that had defined their existence. As dawn approached, the once vampiric beings emerged from the forest, their eyes reflecting the warmth of newfound humanity. The survivor Seraphina and the reformed vampires stood at the edge of the woods, Gazing at the rising sun that bathed the world in a golden hue, the malevolence that had haunted the ancient forest had dissipated, leaving behind a sense of renewal and hope. The survivor, having come full circle from the terror of the picnic in the haunted woods, now faced a future intertwined with the reformed vampires and the mysteries of a past that had been laid bare as they stepped into the light of a new day. The survivor couldn't shake the feeling that the forest, once a realm of nightmares, had been transformed into a sanctuary where the echoes of the past could finally find peace. Yet, as they ventured beyond the shadows of the trees, a whisper lingered in the wind, a reminder that not all secrets had been unveiled, and the ancient force that governed the heart of the forest still held untold mysteries. The survivor of Seraphina, and the reformed vampires embarked on a journey to explore the lingering enigma, leaving the haunted woods behind, but knowing that the true story had only just begun.